What's up guys, it's the Wolf here, and today I wanted to go over my Modern Warfare 2 campaign impressions. I'm still playing the multiplayer, I'm at like rank 15 at this point, but I finished the campaign last night, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the campaign. Um, overall, it's disappointing. It's, it's not Modern Warfare 2 like we remember it. It's like how I told my girlfriend last night, it's like if you went to go see your favorite band, but they get sick, they get COVID, whatever the fucking case may be, but they got the the younger cover band that that is there and it's just not the same it don't gel right it's just not the same you know there's just a little difference somewhere that just doesn't fit you know so i don't know the story is is decently written it's nothing to call home for black ops 1 is still my favorite call of duty campaign how complex it was and the twist was actually not expected you know with this you can actually see the twist coming especially if you played the classics or if you just know actors you know with call of duty using a lot of actors nowadays if you see an actor that you predominantly know as a villain you're probably going to see a twist coming you know so that's that's not disappointing it's just like they could have did better on the on the twist side they could have just had better story development because it just seems like a like a like a like a, a b movie you know it's just nothing we haven't seen before when it comes to espionage and black op operations. It's nothing new, you know, which is just disappointing. I was expecting something to happen. You know, I've seen a lot of people upset that there's not a big action sequence, you know, and I agree. There's no action sequence. There's no big action sequence in this game. There's not one. I mean, you have these events like, uh, like Lone Survivor. If you've ever seen that movie with Mark Wahlberg where they're facing off, they're outnumbered, you know, you're running. They have something like that, but I don't think of that as a, a big action sequence. You know, I feel like they had a big variety, but they were also doing a lot of copycat missions from classic Call of Duties. Like there's two missions in an AC-130, but they don't innovate on the concept. It literally just feels like the same mission from back in 2007. Uh, there was a lot of focus on the cartel which i just didn't i didn't care about i don't know why it's just i just didn't i know some people were really into it but i just i wasn't they had a, a ghillie suit mission you know um uh, they had a a cargo ship mission which they an oil rig mission they kind of <laughs> i mean they they literally just copy and pasted modern warfare one and two a lot of their um rememberable missions and just stuck it in here with great graphics and decent gameplay i don't know i i was literally just waiting for something to happen plot wise and nothing really did i mean the one twist in the game seemed epic i mean i kind of saw it coming but didn't know when it was going to happen and it kind of just came out of nowhere you know and um it was cool until you're you're stuck in some survival section that struggled to entertain me you know which i'll get into in a minute but overall the, the game is it's meh it's it's a 7 out of 10 campaign for me it's not you know it's cinematically it's amazing you know it's a really good you know the cinematics are they're up there you know but the writing is meh nothing we haven't seen before the gameplay is you know there's a couple missions that stood out but for the most part it's the same old thing it's uh it's it's, it's, it's very average you know and then with it being average, I mean, honestly, this this could be an 8 out of 10 Call of Duty, but they shoot themselves in the foot by using these Warzone-influenced uh, gameplay aspects, which just killed it for me. It, it, actually, it absolutely broke my immersion, broke the tension, broke everything. It broke my fucking spirit, to be honest. Like, I got completely out of the mood of playing. I don't even know. I think I might have actually shut it down for a little bit because I just... I was getting frustrated, you know, but... Um, yeah, they, they influenced the gameplay with these armored soldiers, which, um, uh, I honestly didn't know cause I don't play Warzone that these were, that this came from Warzone, you know, cause I just don't play Warzone, not a fan, but these armored soldiers are such a fucking pain in the dick, you know, because it would, especially, you know, if you're not in a survival section, which I'll get into in a second, they're they're okay you know just shoot them in the head if you got enough ammo everything works but when you don't have any ammo and you don't have any guns you're so fucked 
you are fucked. I had to I had to bring it down from uh, regular to recruit difficulty because I just simply didn't have enough ammo to kill everybody. You have like I'm getting defeated by like seven armored soldiers because they won't die, and they all come into the fucking room at once. You know they come in at with threes and you can't even kill one. What do you think? It, what you're just it's a pain in the dick. It is not fun. You know, and it really pissed me off, actually. That that whole section, that whole mission is terrible. That is a terrible mission. It comes right after the twist, and it's way too long. They could have cut that whole fucker out and just given us something cooler, to be honest. But they, I don't know, they just wanted to put that in, so... Whatever. But the armored soldiers, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. Uh, the survival sections, which... Ah, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know if it just doesn't work with the AI because the AI is not stellar, but the survival sections just felt boring. They just felt out of place. They just didn't gel with me at all. Like you have to walk around and pick up wax and metal, craft things and try to even the playing field, right? But it just, it just, I don't know. It, it was a, a dry spot in the, in the campaign. The last little Warzone influence gameplay was the driving. So you could drive some cars in in, uh, in one of the missions. And that was all good and, and dandy until you had to jump from one to the other. And it just felt cheesy. It felt unrealistic. Didn't feel right. I mean, you could, you're could you like halfway out of the car shooting while driving. like you, you And you got to constantly like go back and in and fucking kind of accelerate so your car doesn't just slow down. So I don't know. It just felt weird. Felt like it was off didn't feel right to me but but yeah the 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 slow spots were very frustrating especially in that survival section the walk speed okay i want to know if you guys if you have played this tell me i'm wrong the fucking walk speed is like you're tiptoeing through the mexican city it's so bad shit and you're like you're you're stuck you know the game really made it to where you're kind of like you go this because you have to find a weapon right but anywhere you go it didn't seem like there was a fucking weapon anywhere so you just kept dying and until you kind of like figured out which house to go into to get what thing and it was just it broke the immersion for me i didn't i don't want to do that i want something to happen i don't want to just walk around this fucking i don't know it just wasn't it wasn't for me but i mean overall seven out of ten not terrible but it's not it's not modern warfare 2 like we we uh like we knew it they're, they also don't really wrap things up too well, which, I mean, spoilers going forward, I guess, uh, they didn't wrap it up too well. They kind of hinted at Modern Warfare 3 being this culmination, this huge set piece, but uh, if it falls flat, this whole trilogy kind of is disappointing, which is sad because I liked Modern Warfare 2019. I don't remember too much of it, to be honest, which is sad looking back on it because i really did like that multiplayer and uh i don't remember jack fuck about the campaign uh i didn't i didn't really remember farah and she made another she made an appearance which i didn't think needed to happen i don't think that whole mission really had to happen you know but it was like this it was just so out of the out of the blue they're like oh yeah now we gotta do this and it's like why why didn't we just do something in the last mission to prevent this from happening but I guess you really wanted us to drive cars. I don't know. They just they just could have did this a lot better. You know, I, I think they I don't know what the fuck they were doing. <laughs> they just they just did not hit it well with me, man, cuz they they tease Makarov at the end and that's all. I mean, I don't know. And they're never going to be able to top no Russian. That is not going to be topped. I don't give a fuck who <laughs> who you are. That no Russian sequence back in the day was just crazy, you know? And now we got kind of like, they're teasing it as like this, I don't know what they're going to do with it, but it, it's on an airplane. They got these plastic guns. Who knows? Maybe they're going to, I don't, I don't think Makarov would, I don't know. Makarov was in the attack in the original and in this one, it seems like he's getting texted from a, uh, a different location. So are they crashing the the plane somewhere is that gonna happen i don't know i don't know what they're they're planning to do with that but i mean i, I think 
this is just a disappointing trilogy. Not only is the multiplayer kind of meh compared to 2019, but uh, the campaign is just it's lacking in certain areas. You know, it's just anticlimactic. That's the big problem. Because if they if they just added a couple missions, it wouldn't have been that bad. Honestly, like it, it really wouldn't have been that bad. It would have had a better resolution instead of what we got. And that's just my opinion. But you know, I'm sure there's it's been a mixed review. Like I said, it's it's a ton of people saying it's amazing. Some of it, I'm I haven't seen anybody really negative saying it's a terrible campaign. It's just not fantastic. You know, it's nothing new. This is the same old, same old, and I mean, take it how you will. I mean, it's Call of Duty. So, anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the campaign. Did you enjoy it? Did you like the characters? You know, I, I was expecting someone to die, and uh, unfortunately, no one really died throughout this campaign. We didn't really get introduced to General Shepard like I thought we were gonna. I don't even remember if he was in the uh, the last Call of Duty. The Modern Warfare 2019. I thought he was because he's a, a huge actor, but I, I can't remember. Anyway, guys, that's the show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Wolf Pack. Peace.